Hello, and thanks for joining. Today we are talking all things styling your laundry room. I think out of all the chores I dislike the most, laundry makes the top three on my list every time. So needless to say, the laundry room styling has been very low on my priority list. But it's a very inexpensive room to style, so I figured I'd get it done and share some tips with you. So let's get started. Here I'm sharing this sad little before picture of what my laundry room looked like before when it was styled. As you can see, there are beautiful stainless steel appliances in the room, but they actually appear to be somewhat of an eyesore because there's nothing there to soften the space. Which leads me to tip number one, add texture. When dealing with a small space, adding texture is an easy way to give that space some life. Anything from installing backsplash to something simple like a really cool laundry hamper with patterns for weaving, like Wicker, can help add texture. I found this hamper that you see in the picture on clearance at Pier 1 and the Wicker basket that you see here at Home Goods. So by adding just a couple different textures to the room, it really broke things up and softened them up. And then it was time to move on to my favorite part, tip number two adding accessories. One of my favorite accessories to add to any space is greenery. You see it all over my home and not only does it bring life to a room, but it adds a pop of color to break up a bland space. I found these really cute Bunny Williams topiaries from Ballad Designs. The pot has some metal elements that are perfect for that whole adding texture thing that I mentioned in point one. continue to pull the cool metals through the room by adding that galvanized tray that you see here that I already had and I styled it with some laundry fragrance that I found on clearance also at Ballard Design marked down to seven dollars from 25 not too shabby finally I styled the utility sink with these gorgeous handmade Turkish towels that I found from the awesome folks over at Olive and Lemon links to their website can be found in the description below accessory that is very affordable and allows you to display your creative side. I've seen some really cute and creative laundry room wall art all over Pinterest, but I opted for these cool prints of clothespins that I found on a free download website which I've included down in the description box below for you. Aren't they cute? Last but not least, the laundry sign that you see on top of the dryer is also from Ballard Design. It doesn't sit there now though, I actually put it in the window over the utility sink that you can't see here. It was a perfect finishing touch. And that leads us to my last tip, which is adding rugs. Throw rugs and runners are always a great idea. Not only do they add interest to the floor, it also helps out with that texture thing. See how I keep mentioning that? It's kind of a big deal. I used to be terrified to pick rugs because finding the right pattern would freak me out, but now I just go for it. It's only a rug and they make more if you don't like it. And that's really it guys. Texture, accessories, and rugs. They made a huge difference in this space and I didn't have to make a huge investment. Now, guess what I'm off to do? I hope you enjoyed my laundry room tour. Leave your comments below and thanks for watching.